everybody. Uh, this will be a very, very significant little quick video clip of great importance. So listen very carefully and take notes. But before we start, I'd like to introduce you to somebody some of you have known. I think all of you have heard about him, Dr. J. Ant Laconde. He is the new head of DMKMD, our newest division that will be geared towards the, uh, the medical profession, but also with uh, a place and a niche for advanced therapists as well. So, so we're very excited. Jay is not only a, a bioengineer, a medical doctor, but he's also an expert in herbology and Ayurveda herbs, plants, anything that works on the human body. And the nice thing about all this is that he will explain on the physiological basis, on the medical basis, of what each and every ingredient does. So we're coming to flesh out environment. And I think there was a misconception in the beginning about environment, probably my fault, that it was a home use product only. It is not. It is much, much more. And you, these things you find out when reports start coming back in from the field of various types of skin disorders and and uh, sometimes it was like almost miracles happening over a very, very simple phenomenon, which we'll explain uh, this morning. You already know that the uh, environment system is for the microbiome of the skin. You already know that it's very popular now for products to claim to be probiotic or microbiome friendly. But that doesn't mean anything. Because I will absolutely tell you, and Dr. Okande will agree, and we're not bashing anybody, but... I would say a good 98% of all these products claiming to be probiotic are nothing more than dried yogurt in a cream or some such thing. They're not live, and you have to deal with live for it to work. And at the end of this, I will get into a little bit about what that means for shipping and storage and, and so on and so forth. And, and these things we learn. One bad thing, one down note to pioneering is that you don't know all of the little aspects later on that could happen as the goods travel around the world, the different temperature, time zones, whatever. No, we find that out just by feedback. I've devoted my life to coming up with concepts and the tools that make the concepts work by formulating the best we can possibly do. In other words, we don't make crap. So, how do you use it professionally? Well, when the the patient lays down, the client lays down, and you do the cleansing and the disincrustation and all the other things, and you do your enzyme one, basic enzyme one, and that's removed, you immediately want to establish the microbiome, okay? Because there could be things going on here that yeah. the microbiome takes away immediately. Yeah. So uh, we have the uh, embryological aspects of Let's start with the axis. You want to explain a little bit about the axis, Dr. Lacande? So what happens that we have something called as a embryology. So, you know, our entire human body is made up of originally from three layers, which we call the three germinal layers. One is ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Now, ectoderm is something, this axis is related to the ectoderm, which involves the brain, gut, and skin. Skin microbiota has all bacteria, viruses, mites, fungus. But having said so, this entire skin microbiota is comprised 98% by bacteria, okay? So, and 2% are comprised of viruses, mites, and fungus. Having said that, this 98% again are divided into the four phylum, proteobacteria, bacterioides, Permicutes and actinos. So, this four comprises the 98% of the bacterial flora. Now, as Dine said earlier, that you go in the market and you find nothing but the yogurt packed in a different form. So, why that doesn't work? Because this entire skin microbiota we inherit, okay, is not something that we we kind of get acquired after our birth because the skin microbiota, we get it from the maternal transfer. So when the birth is happening, the mother is passing the good microbiome to the baby naturally. That means that we don't have to add a bacteria from the outside on the skin. No, that's not the concept. And that's what Dine wanted to make a point that no, we are building whores. So 
this entire three products of the environment series re-established the skin microbiota which is which is good for the physiological reason why i said so because as these are good bacteria but if something happens they can turn bad so the these are the good guys but if they turn bad then you get all the sort of complication what we see in, usually in the clinic and you know what happens that the skin microbiota is something we call is dynamic so this word is very important dynamic on the same note what happens that when we are doing say different dmk enzyme treatments now we are dealing with that dynamism as well so what happens we have to make sure that with the every enzyme treatment we re-establish the microbiota so that it will help all the enzymatic treatment and that's the second point we want to bring it from here now how the environment series helps all the dmk enzyme treatment very simple reason because all these bacteria have a, a profound role in playing the normal skin physiology for example proteobacteria helps in the urease enzyme activity so it upregulate urease urease which break down the urea which is present in the you right. know epidermis yep. and that's how this urea is again important for the hydration right. so you imagine now our um, acid mantle uh, dna what that the combination C by of e and urban mineral mix. C by e and herb so what it we are trapping that hydration inside and that exactly gives like a natural acid mantle thing so this environment will further help in the hydration because it is acting on the urea. urea so it is yeah. controlling the production of the urea now bacteroids are very important for the immune response so what happens these bacteroids are very important keeping the normal immunity when i say normal in medicine really nothing is normal but i would say in the physiological limit you know because what can be normal for me can be abnormal for somebody xyz so it's very personalized thing However, the environment series takes that personalization. See, that's the most beautiful part of the environment series that suppose we do the environment on the 10 different patients, they have 10 different microbiota, but we are creating that kind of uh, ecosystem again, the DMK I ecosystem. I like that, e ecosystem. DMK ecosystem, That's, right? We should use that all the time. That should be a headliner, uh, right? So we are creating that ecosystem wherein all these ten different individuals having the skin microbiota are adopting well. See, so there's a we are laying the foundation here, something called as a personalized approach, and that personalized approach can happen only if we are building a nice ecosystem. Simple. Now let's get back to a little bit on the microbiota again. So proteobacteria helps in urease, bacteroids helps in human response. Now firmicutes like Staph aureus is a known firmicutes, you know. So now when the patient comes with the acne, rosia, and it is and typical are acne treatments and what we do for the rosia and other thing. Now if that is followed by the environment series so you imagine we are re-establishing the firmicutes so whatever the the normal reaction level we have created through our acne treatment so acne is going on the inflammation is going on the sebaceous glands are opening up nicely so this will further help to the firmicutes and which will bring this condition down including the inflammation and i've seen it yeah right now this is the another important part actinobacteria you you have seen dna constantly talks about the glycation how the glycation is bad how the glycation hampers the entire skin age in, in the long term and then the short term this is something we don't want to happen and for that actinobacteria prevents the glycation now how this laid came to scientific mind because actinobacteria in the gut it increases the glucose uh, breakdown and that's why the same thing will happen on the skin we are helping environment series with the skin microbiota skin microbiota again are very good symbiosis complementary to all the dmk enzyme treatment so that's what the message is that you know don't consider that this is a standalone series no this can go very well 
with our all other enzymatic treatment. The only thing we have to apply a little bit more broader sense that how we can you know combine the different products and create more value for our client. Dr. Lakande and I happen to believe that this is just the tip of an iceberg. Yeah. I think the whole industry, and I think I said this before, you're going to hear more and more and more about microbiome friendly, blah, blah, blah. Used to be antibacterial, now it's sort of reversed. So we're going to be coming up with more protocol that will fine tune this entire uh, theory and protocol that we're going to be presenting over time. So get used to it, study it, think about it. And what's this last bullet point? Yeah, so these are the quick checklist for our clients to explain them the entire logic of the environment, why they should be using on the regular basis when it is required. Because these are the six points which influences skin microbiota, okay. So cohabitation, you know, that we are living with our pets. Typical pets have a different microbiota, we have a different and there is a kind of a very healthy exchange going on. So if pet has something going on, it will definitely influence your skin microbiota. So please remember. So that's what we call cohabitation, okay. Captivity, you know, certain pets are in a captive like birds and animals, you know, are in the captive. But as they are captive, they are not that exposed to the universe. So their skin microbiota is little bit compro compromised. And when we become in touch with them, with the skin to skin, then that influences our all the microbiota. So that are, as I explained earlier, maternal transfer. When we take birth, we are getting inherited so the all the microbiota. Mother releases. Yeah. Mother releases this thing. So uh -huh. this gives rise to the genetic theory that why certain skin diseases are found in the phylogenetic trees yeah. of the families. Yeah. You know, so that's why we wanted to bring this part. Is uh, uh, of course biological sex is the inter exchange of the you know skin microbiota, diet of course because it's ultimately the gut, and the phylosymbiosis means what? We we are called Homo sapiens as as in zoological taxonomy. If we are in the vicinity of different zoological taxonomy like camels, <laughs> horses, uh, you know uh, different animals which are not pets that also influences our skin microbiota. Really? This is Yes, so that's called the phylo, I mean different phylum, zoological phylum and symbiosis. So there's no, I mean we are just staying together, you know, as, as if like in, in the entire world we are just, all the animals are staying together. So, so please ask the clients all these questions on the basis of this six point which can give you the deeper understanding and you can then you know, convince them in a proper way that why you should be using environment series because the six factors are constantly influencing your skin microbiome. But let's pull it down in a practical sense for the therapist, okay? Because so, the theory is great. I'm sure everybody understands the importance of this a little bit more. I certainly do. But uh, when you're actually working how to use, because remember, this was kind of presented as a home prescriptive, and it still is. But if you see inflamed skin, tissue that looks unusual, not your regular few lines and wrinkles or a couple of pimples or anything like that, but something that you really don't know what to do at first. But uh, when you do the, 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 uh, this kind of treatment, so let, let's just go back to enzyme one. You cleanse the patient hmm. with the cleanser, okay? And then at the conclusion of the uh, enzyme treatment, you can use milk cleanser, deep pour, et cetera, to get the mask off because it's, mm. as we all know, it's a job. Once it's off, I would do just a tiny little bit of, of the environment cleanser again. You can whip it up in the, in the bowl like you do the other ones. Make one more pass over the face. Now you're setting up the landscape. And then I would finish with environment mist, that sort of gets the colonies out marching across the skin on their way to homeostasis and then you fix it in place with the serum. Now, can they use, what, what if they want to, after that settles in for a minute, what if they want to put uh, betagen cream or some other, yeah. they can, they can. Absolutely. All right, then you can layer the rest of their home prescriptives on top of that, include sun, sunscreen if it's sunny day, hot day, they're going to go out. Then they take this at home. Now, my recommendation is at least one week 
of nothing but this home use. Yes. One week at, at least. least. Yeah. yeah. If it's really severe, I'd, I'd go as far as, as 14 days. But let's start with one week, just this. They put their other things on the side. They're not going to throw them away. And always, always a sunscreen once again if they're going to go out into a very hot, sunny weather. Now, they can put this in the fridge, particularly the serum. Now, let's talk briefly about this. Now, we have taken more steps in the lab recently to preserve the living spores inside this serum much, much longer. But remember, this is a corrective treatment. This is not a beauty re regimen. You know, they're not going to use this every day of their life. They're going to use it periodically. So use it up. Don't let it sit around in funny temperatures. Actually, it's constructed to withstand quite a bit of heat, and we are taking steps to even ensure that a little bit better. Uh, now, I've, we've given you a couple of suggestions how to use this uh, more advantageously. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you see remarkable things. And one quick point for all our therapists and this thing which you can strategically, because you know we have certain strategic areas on the skin where the microbiomes are in a concentric form like glabula, this L of creases, then external auditory meatus, periocular region, mm -hmm. occiput. So you know, tell your, tell your client that you know, put especially the serum more and you know, as the DNA's perfect techniques of applying the cream like this. Tapotment. Tap. Tapotment. Just tap here. Apply. Tap here. Piano, pianomissimo. Tap here. Yeah. You know, tap here, occiput. Maybe, you know, this notch, uh, this, uh, you know, interclavicular notch, this is a good side of the micro. Yes, so true. You can tap when you are addressing the decollet. Okay. So, great. Glad that you uh, stayed long enough to listen. We hope you take the advice and take the education and make a wonderful, wonderful new change in your clients' skins and their lives. Thank you. Thank you.